Hello, it's Lee with AppointmentReminder.com. I wanted to go through how to build message sequences. It's something that usually comes up a lot with new users, and hopefully this will kind of help give a way to navigate this better for everybody. Um, so what a sequence is in AppointmentReminder.com is the ability to kind of customize your flow of message reminders when they are sent and how they are sent out to your customers. So when you start a new account with us, um, under the settings feature, under message sequences is where I'm looking and you're gonna find all this, is there's usually one that's set by default. So most people want a 24 hour text message, SMS reminder, and a 24 hour email reminder. That is the, uh, on this account, is set as the business default and also kind of what is set for most people. Uh, there's other options here, just a 24-hour text, a 24-hour text, and a 48-hour text. And what we're doing there is we're, we're telling the system when to send a reminder to my customer uh, and, and what type of reminder to send them. Um, you'll also notice down here on the bottom there's an SMS confirmation and a 40 and a 24-hour uh, SMS text. Uh, one thing to be aware of on the text confirmation, email confirmation. So if you want to send some type of appointment confirmation to your client, uh, that's what we're talking about. And if you click these, this edit button here, you're going to see some options. So under this here, when we send a, an a, a appointment reminder confirmation, this is going to be sent out immediately from the system. So as soon as our system recognizes that appointment, whether it's from Office 365, Google Calendar, or you just manually putting the appointment in the system here, it's going to send out a text uh, reminder in this case. Um, so that's how that is set up and done. Um, You'll also notice some other options along the top here. So stop when reply is received. If you enable this feature, if you have a 24 hour and a 48 hour option, let's say it will not send the 24 hour if they respond to the 48 hour uh, text message. So it, it is a good way to help you save uh, reminder counts, uh, but it does reduce the urgency of the messaging. So just be aware of that. Uh, so stop when reply is received. Um, is active basically just going to allow you to continue to see and use this uh, sequence. Uh, know that if a sequence has started already in your in your system, there's no way to change that. So if you have everybody with a reminder confirmation going out and you decide, I don't want to send those anymore, I want to change the flow, uh, it has to finish running that course with, you all, with the clients that are currently running that sequence. Uh, and then skip past due reminders for new appointments. Uh, what that means is if you say you have a seven-day reminder for a client and then a three-day reminder, um, but you don't load the appointment until two days for the client, it will not send the seven or two day reminder for those appointments. So just be aware of that. Um, it is usually enabled uh, for most people. And then as we scroll down, this is kind of where we set up how we want the flow of the sequence to go. Uh, what type of reminder to send so you have the choice of an email reminder, a text reminder, and or the voice phone call. And then you're going to tell the system when you want to send it. So an immediate send would be going like initial confirmation of the appointment. It would go out right away. You also have the option, many different options here on the drop down, but send at a custom time. So if you enable this option, this is where you can go in and send the reminder uh, at, you know, at one day prior, and then you can tell it to send it at 9 a.m. or any particular custom time that you want. I do recommend putting the only send reminder during these business hours as, as a certain time around your business. Uh, sometimes an all day appointment can get loaded and that is seen in the system as like 12.01 in the morning. Um, just helps prevent any weird uh, appointments that you might have loaded by accident. Uh, so do that. And then here's where the script option is. So the scripts, uh, if you want to add a different, this is the default appointment reminder script here. But if you wanted to go into your script section and make additional scripts, so you could have like a 24-hour script, a 48-hour script, uh, and kind of change the messaging here. So under settings, message, uh, excuse me, edit reminder scripts is where you would add and or change your scripts. 
and then you'll continue to build this out. For, so in this case, I have an immediate uh, text message going out and then a text me message going out one day prior to. If I wanted to add additional steps to this, I just click add additional step and then I tell it what step I want it to do. So if I want to send an email, maybe I want to send an email at seven days prior to, I would set my times and then choose the script that I want to do, okay? So it's pretty straightforward um, and it's very customizable. You can really do a lot with message sequences uh, if we come back to this page. And this will tell us what the current business default is. So by default, this system, uh, this accounts using the 24 hour text and 24 hour email option as their default. In order to change the sequence that the system is using, you need to go to settings default reminder settings and change here. So this would be the default message sequence where I want to change it 24 hours, uh, SMS confirmation, whatever you want to do, um, that's where you want to change and edit it. So a lot going on with sequences. Um, if you need additional help, feel free to reach out to us on the chat button here. This is the best way to get a hold of us and we'll do our best to get you squared away. Uh, thanks and have a great day.